our next stage is what we call our first level of transitions. And those bits are where we're, um, we're just introducing, if you will, a little bit of leverage, which incorporates the use of our curb strap. So in this case, I've already got this little cult bit designed here with um, a curb strap on it. And what typically makes up this is a little bit shorter shank because we don't want to introduce a lot of leverage onto our horses when we're just transitioning them from that little light touch of direct rein pressure to a little bit of the introduction of, to the curb strap. So the purpose of that curb strap is to not to add more pressure, it's actually right the reverse. It's so that the horse is learning to respond to the less that we do and in other words as I begin to pull up say with one pound of pressure, the curb strap now applies a little bit more pressure to the horse's mouth which in turn gets the horse to respond not to more pressure but to less and what I mean by that is, is that I pull up with less pressure the horse is still going to feel the exact same amount that he would have in the snaffle bit earlier so in other words that curb strap now just adds that little bit of hint of, um, of curb pressure a little bit of pressure with that with that little bit longer shank than what we have on the snaffle now the mouthpieces are oftentimes very very similar. Um, in other words, we still want the broken mouthpiece and the purpose of a broken mouthpiece is so that we can actually teach the horses to allow us to work their bodies independently. Direct rein and indirect rein, flexing and working the horse a little bit more on one side and then equally on the other. Um, so we, we still like that idea of keeping the horse divided and working a little bit more on that lateral pressure and that lateral work. So I, I personally still like for my first transition bits to have a lot of give and a lot of play with that bit so that I can still work my horse laterally. Now, this one you might notice, again, this is what Rainsman refers to as one of our cult bits. And why is because the shank is nice and, and short, just barely introduction, if you will, of that curb strap pressure. If you notice, even the bigger ring at the bottom, and what's the purpose of the bigger ring? Is again, if my rein is just resting here and I pick up on it, that rein is going to slide a little bit on the ring before it begins to activate the bit. So again, it allows that cult to have a lid little bit of thinking time, a little bit of time to respond before he begins to feel any pressure. So again, that's that cult bit, that snaffle or that first transition bit after our stage A would be this stage B to where we're introducing a little bit of pressure with the curb on a nice short shank. 